Hello everyone, Silver Contrail here, and we're back playing more Untold Stories 5, Calamity Canyon. Uh, last episode, I nearly died, and uh, the map creator greatly trolled me. Um, today, we are going to go get string for a bed, uh, because I'm tired of respawning out on that little island. And, ooh, man, there's uh, another witch over there. Uh, I just want a little bit more safety. That sleeping through the night is, I think, irrelevant, but yeah, just setting a spawn would be nice. Uh, that way we can get re-equipped and get back out there if I die. Um, let's see. So that is the target. All those cobwebs up there. <laughs> Hopefully there's nothing too uh, scary in the way. Oh, I did find some iron too. I found, I found two iron ore. Uh, I don't know if there's any more. Uh, I found it over by uh, where we were last time, uh, where I died last time. I didn't bring any... Shoot. I was going to say I didn't bring any torches. Okay, so there's more buildings over here. I don't really care about that right now. I just really want to get up here. And I kind of don't want to burn through all of my blocks to do so. These guys can't get up here, right? Okay, cool. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to have to. Awesome. Cool. All right, let's pick up enough of these to make... Let's see, we need to make a bed... And we need to make a bow, as the uh, advancement is telling me. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, I don't know what's up there. I want to kind of save that for a little bit later. Because I think it's probably... Oh, man. Oh, man. Probably uh, a later wool. I kind of want to go in there. But I don't want to die either. <laughs> But I guess if I don't want to die, I should just stop playing now, right? Uh, let's get some torches. Cool. And put these right here. All right. There are some spiders and netherrack. Uh, where's my shark? There it is. I don't really want to fight these guys. So I don't have to. Let's just do a little. Let's just do a little recon real quick. Uh, so, let's see. So there are spawners. Oh, oh, there's more blaze. Got a phone call coming in. I will be right back. Well, I had a telemarketer just call me. Um, I normally wouldn't answer the phone if I didn't have a bunch of job applications out, but I do, so... I've, I've been getting my numbers spoofed. I don't know. I don't know what is going on as far as um, Oh jeez. Um, it, it seems like every telemarketer that that I have come across nowadays has Almost universally used like local area numbers. I don't know how that's legal, but I don't think it should be Anyways uh, so that way definitely looks like a really difficult wool to get, really difficult dungeon. This is just straight up gold. This is just straight up gold. I don't know what this is doing here. Uh, I can hear more gas, or not gas, but blaze. Okay, uh, so what's over here? Let's see what's in this little treasure chest. Uh, you might want to take a shortcut to the other side of the lava. Oh, cool. I thank you. What's in here? Okay, cool. We'll just get that safely back. Uh, let's not go that way because it's going to be a dead end. And yeah, let's just head back. It'll be a little bit easier to probably build from that side to this side. And yeah, so okay, we've done a little bit of recon. And I think, ooh, I want that, but I don't know if there's like a bunch of spawners in here. Gas spawner, or a uh, blaze spawner. 
Find him more. Okay, uh, we'll come back for it later. Not really important, and I want to get a tango with these guys. Okay, cool. So, I want to get to the second dungeon. I want to try to find that. I don't know where it is. Um, I think it's gotta be... It's gotta be, like, that corner. We've already... We went through the first dungeon, and then we found the third dungeon. I would imagine that the second dungeon is somewhere between them. That would make sense to me. And whether or not that's actually what happens, I don't know. There's so many spawners out here. Okay. Um, then we need to make our bed, and we can finally make a bow. I was hoping I would get some drops from a skeleton, but I haven't even fought that many skeletons in this map yet. I guess I could have gone out and killed spiders too, but the, the likelihood of uh, getting string from them seems pretty low. I wonder if there's anything in these. These are just like... I don't know. It's, it seems like... Oh, shoot. There are things in here. It's a... Oh, huh, it's a creeper spawner. With uh, something next to it. Oh, an anvil. That was weird. <laughs> oh, I was holding on my... Uh, okay. Interesting. I'll probably leave this here. There may come a time when I want to set up a, a trap here. And I always say that when I play these maps, and then I very rarely actually make traps. But the times that I do are the best of times. <laughs> I remember in Canopy Carnage, the old Vex map, I, there, was a, there was a tree you could turn into like a gunpowder farm, and I used that to sort of cheese the last dungeon. Because I would just shoot TNT at all the spawners. Uh, it very quickly kill all the mobs. Okay, so we have enough stuff to make a bed. But we don't have enough to make a bow because I forgot to get three more string. Well, uh, I'm an idiot. I also just tried to build a, a bed upside down. Uh, okay. I forgot I need 12 for a... Alright. Well, anyways... <laughs> Uh, it doesn't matter if it's day or night. I don't really care. Probably is actually better to be a night. Now let's get rid of all this stuff. We have ladders. That's awesome. I can definitely appreciate that. And we got another chest. We'll put that right here. And we've got another anvil. We don't really have that many books. It's just like the Bane of Arthropods. So I don't really care about that. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see if we can go find. Maybe we should go find some more iron. Because if we can find more iron, it'd be pretty cool. If I can sprint, <laughs> I can't sprint down this these these steps for some reason. All right. Here we go. Okay. So that was dungeon one and dungeon three. This is dungeon three. So dungeon two has got to be somewhere over in here. Okay, you are not aggroed on me, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> I was a little worried. <laughs> Even though I didn't hear the sound. You never know. When Minecraft is going to glitch out on you next. So, could it be somewhere... Because it wasn't... I don't think it was up top. I wonder if it's just down this way. Because I don't think... I don't think I went down this far last time. I just kind of went 
a little ways down. Let's see what we can find down here. Uh... Okay, baby zombie. Don't know where he's at. And oh, there's a there's a house. But is this gonna be what I'm looking for? Somehow I doubt it. Here, creepers falling down. Let's see if we can get in here and light this up. Awesome. Band of arthropods again. Some more arrows that I can't use. Feathers. An apple. Mushroom stew. I'll probably take that. I wonder if he's even going to give me the stuff to make an enchanting table. Whoa, hello. I feel like I missed some loot in there. Oh, well, I can come back. Oh, that's a witch. Let's not fight that. <laughs> oh, here's some iron. Cool. Whoa. Hello. There's another spawner. That was really dumb of me to get cornered like that. That was that was a that was really bad positioning. Like I would say, 90% of the skill in CTMs is just planting your feet in good spots. The second you put yourself in a... Ooh, in, oh, oh, here we go. The second you put yourself in a bad spot, you're in trouble. Dungeon 2, Dread Alley. I had a feeling it was over here. I had a feeling. Get out of here. Okay. Mushroom stew. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get... I feel like that's going to be a catchphrase, and it's not normally something I say, but I just... I don't know why recording this. I'm just like, awesome. Awesome. This is awesome. Crap. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I screwed that up. I feel like I'm a Minecraft novice when I do things like that. Is there a spawner here? Or are they just pack spawning? Please stop. Please. Yep. As I have thought. Hmm, I wonder if it's gonna if it's just like the wool is like down there. Alright, guys, we will tackle this next time. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time then. <laughs>